Okay, then let's go. Mm -hmm. And this week we are st we are talking about it, the cost leadership strategy, cost leadership strategy. And however, before going to the cost leadership in detail, okay, let's review. Let's review. Uh, what did we learn last last class? And then we learned about it. Okay, so before starting that, okay, so we learned about it. What is the purpose of the strategy? And the purpose of the strat using the strategy in business is in order to win without fighting. Okay, in order to win without fighting, okay, we must create and sustain what? We must create and sustain what? What is the purpose of the strategy? Win without fighting. In order to, how to win without fighting throughout creating and sustain what? Here. What? What? What should we create and what should we sustain in order to win without fighting? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, competitive advantage. Okay. And yeah, how to, yeah, how to create a, yeah, how to create a competitive advantage. How to create, how to sustain the competitive advantage. Uh -huh. we, learned of, we learned a few number of the approaches in order to create a competitive advantage. Okay, resource-based view. Do you remember? We need to create and we need to sustain our resource creation. And then that resource is the scarce resource. We need to create and sustain the scarce resource. However, what is the scarce resource? What is not replicable? What is not substitutable? What is not copyable? Not, what is not imitatable resource that cannot be easily copied, that cannot be easily replicated by our competitor? What is the scarce resource source? Hmm, that's the, that come from money or that come from people? Oh, we are managing, we learn, you know that. Okay, so we are business problem solvers. We manage only two things. What is that? That is capital or labor. Simply, okay, we need to be able to manage money or and or people. And then what those scarce resource come from? Money or people? Mm -hmm. People, okay. More specifically, what people? What characteristics, what, what was backed up the people? The source of the competitive advantage? That is this. Okay, so then we learned about competence-based approach. We want a competency-based approach. People who has the competencies is the main source of the competitive advantage. And what a competitive advantage? What is the competence? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. What is the competency? Simply. What a competency. KSAO, exactly. So KSO are knowledge, skills, and ability. Uh -huh. So then we create a human knowledge, skills, and ability that create the core competencies of the people and if we have a core competencies, then that can create and sustain the uh, company or the an organization's competitive advantage. Okay, and in order to understand those kind of the competencies, I propose the different multiple capitals. Mm -hmm. 
it off. And what kinds of capitals we have land? Absolutely, we start with the financial capital. Okay, what if we know? Yeah, in order to convert our competencies within an organization to a certain property, okay, what kinds of what kinds of capital do we need? Apple. Apple make more money than the Huawei. Why? Because they have a organizational capability. Okay, that is organizational capability. And I define that kind of organizational capability as organizational capital. Okay, organizational capital. What else? Absolute competency is the source of the human capital. Human capital is the ability of the certain individuals. Okay, good. However, the individuals must interact with somebody in order to achieve some organizational specific goals. We call that network. Network is capital. Okay, that is that is easy to understand. Financial capital, organic capital, social capital, human capital is easy to understand. However, let's go in deeper. Let's go in deeper. Okay, so you have a you have money and you have organic capability, and you know something better than any others, and you are you have a good network, you have a good bunch of many people. Okay, but however, the what if you don't want to work? You cannot do anything. We call that kinds of motivational or the what the emotional or the psychological state of something. We call that is why define that. That is a psychological capital. Okay, psychological capital. Mm, okay, so you have a good psychological state and the human capital, social capital, organic capital, financial capital, but however, you are not healthy. Can you perform something? You are not healthy, and you got a coronavirus, and you got a cancer. You are sick. You don't have any energy. Do you want to work? Can you work? No. So we define that as a physiological capital. OK, thank you. However, what if you have everything, but however, you cannot find any meaning of those kind of capital? What the hell is the mean of what, what is the meaning of the money? OK, definitely, if you do not have any purpose, if you do not have a very clear standard of something, hmm, you will have no spiritual capital. Okay, so we learned about this kind of multiple capitals that help us to have uh, more competencies. And then finally, we can help to, yeah, we can create and sustain the competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. That's why we have a loan. Good. And based on that, we talk a little about it, though, why you choose a certain product or service in a specific market. When we talk about it, though, what kinds of laptop do you use? Well, why did you choose that? We identify there are only two specific competitive advantage in a specific market, that is, uh -huh. Many of you choose the MacBook. Many of others may choose that the Dell or Lenovo. Why? Because this gives us the price, best price. Best price or that, the highly prestigious something, that gives us a differentiated user experience. Mm -hmm. That gives us a more higher value. Higher value. Okay, probably this is a physical value, money, financial capital. 
However, that gives us a more emotional or the psychological happiness. So then that give that make us more happy. Uh -huh. So these two are competitive advantage in a specific business market. That's all. Okay. What will happen if you do not achieve this certain level of the value creation, low value creation, you will die. You will be drained out from a certain specific market. It's clear. It's not complex. Please keep in mind, we are looking for competitive advantage throughout achieving the cost leadership or totally differentiated user experience. Okay, so then mm, we learned about these kind of things. Okay, good. So, do you understand this? Okay, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Uh, Olivia, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Jerry, thank you. So, in practice, in business practice, okay? Yeah, even though I propose that the multiple capital theories or the yeah, IBV theories, scarce resource something, okay, and then or the competency based approach, IBV something. I, yeah, that's good to know. Good to know. That's nice to understand. But how about in practice, as a business problem server, just focus on this. Just focus on this. Make it cheaper, make the product or service cheaper, or make it more valuable. Middle up something? No. No, no, no. No chance to survive. So, we have only two options to survive. Okay, only two options, no more options. First option is make the things more cheaper or make things more valuable. So let's go to the cost leadership first. How we can make everything more cheaper? Okay. Today, I mainly talk about it, how we can make our service or product more cheaper. I'm sorry, but how about there are tons of thousands of ways. It's, it must be complicated, but how about please remember, we are heading to make the things more cheaper, okay? In order to make the product or service cheaper, let's see what kinds of things we can do. But how about there is no limit. Every day we bring our new idea in order to achieve the cost leadership. Okay, let's see, but however, this, is, this can guide you. Uh, this can guide you to how to approach it to, the, to make the, the service or product more cheaper, okay? Only two competitive advantage in a specific market for in practice. Cost advantage, provide a similar product or service to customers at the lower cost than any other competitors. We must be the cost leader. Differentiation advantage, we will talk next week, okay, provided the unique product service to the customers that justify a price of the premium, okay. Cost advantage, cost advantage, how we can achieve this cost leadership, okay, good. So, do you have any idea how to reduce the cost 
how we can reduce the cost. You learned about accounting and finance and economics, okay? So maybe you know how to reduce the cost. Economics, finance, accounting, economy of scale, exactly. That's a part of that. Any other? Yeah, just bring your idea. How we can reduce the cost in order to produce the iPhone? Or the, in order to produce that the Tesla, in order to produce that the Huawei point, in order to produce, in order to uh, deliver our education, WKU. Well, one, yeah, what kind, what kinds of, yeah, what kinds of ways we have in order to reduce the cost? Yeah, yeah, economy of scale is one thing, absolutely. Make it bigger, the better. Anything else? Mm, Iris, any way to reduce the cost? Actually, the best way to reduce the cost is that, okay, torture. Torture people. <laughs> torture people, torture, yeah, torture machine. Yeah, I got that. That's the best way. But how about it? Can we do it? <laughs> yeah. Whenever I can do it, okay, so I want to do it. But how about the desk? Hmm. Because, yeah, that's a violation of law, but how about the, also that is not sustainable, okay? When we talk about it, the competitive advantage, when we talk about it, the competitive advantage, we must think about it, that, that must be sustainable. So nowadays we mainly, yeah, we commonly talk about it, the sustainable, sustainable, competitive advantage okay that's getting more popular in strategy management field okay that's getting more popular yeah though that must be sustainable however torture is not sustainable any better idea economy of scale is one thing mm, iris jerry wealth oh three more comes Hey, oh, hey, oh, so, oh, Dylan comes. Dylan, oh, Nikki comes. Oh, 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 Eva comes. Okay, I got it, I got it. Okay, Billy comes. Mm. Any other idea? Yeah, just just use a use a common sense. Economist, economy of scale is fuzzy. Okay, but Howard, let's go. We use this kind of the ways in order to reduce the cost in general in general okay in general and this is examples of something let's see uh -huh. in general we use this kind of the um ways i don't want to say that is a strategy but this is a ways of the doing in order to reduce the cost this Okay, absolutely. The first, yeah, first way to reduce the cost is to make it bigger. Make it bigger. You know that in economics, when you make it bigger and when you make it more, more, more barriers or the more larger volume of something, okay, maybe we can discount our the production, pro, yeah, production or the operational cost. Okay, that is an economy of scale. That is an economy scale. And economy scale is one of the best way to reduce the cost. Okay, that's one. <laughs> that's one way. So the economy of scale is in diversibility, okay, and the specialization and the division of the labor cost. Okay. So the, when we when we improve when we improve the revenue, I will, when we increase the volume of the production, okay, and the, maybe we can reduce the production cost and operation cost. So the bigger, the better. Okay, good. That's one. And the second is that the economy of the learning. Okay, whenever you make, whenever you produce a new stuff, and then you need to learn, and it costs a lot, and then you need to. You need you need to have a learning curve. However, when we focus on a certain different certain certain small number of the focus the um, focus to something, maybe we don't need to we don't need to we don't need to pay that the you know, the, the learning cost. 
Okay, so let's start to focus. This is a focus. Economy of economy of learning is that okay, we use the focus strategy. Focus. Okay, hedge hawk strategy. So increase the dexterity and improve the coordination and the organization throughout focusing. Okay, make it more simple. Make it more simple. Don't make it complex. Okay. And absolutely, the process of technology, like a technology, okay, and mechan mechanization or the automation, okay, make everything is automatic, okay, and the efficient utilization of the materials, increase at the precision, okay. So this is related with that the industry 4.0, okay, or the manufacturing 2025 of the China, okay, and the digital transformation. Digital, digital transformation. Okay, so have you ever heard about this industry 4.0 manufacturing 2025 digital transformation strategy nowadays? Uh, nobody. Mm hmm. Eva, have you ever heard about the Industry 4.0 manufacturing 2025 in China, data transformation in the U.S.? Yeah, Industry 4.0 is originated from the Germany, the European model. Manufacturing 2025 is the Chinese. It's a Chinese policy, Chinese strategy. Okay, data transformation, that's most popular in the U.S. And why? What is the purpose of this? Why Europeans and the white China and why US want to apply this kind of the industry 4.0 manufacturing 2025 data transformation? Why we talk a lot this kind of things? Eh, nobody. I. Mm, mm, uh, Hey, hey Lee, did you see, did you hear, did, did you hear about the Industry 4.0 or uh, Manufacturing 2025 or uh, Data Transformation? Uh, do I have any problem? Oh, can you hear me? Something, something wrong. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Olivia, thank you. Okay. So what is the purpose of this kind of things? Now, we understand why we talk a lot about this kind of things. Because we want to reduce the cost. That is this. Okay. The purpose of using the data transformation, but the purpose of the industry for furniture and manufacturing, simple. Why we want to do this the things, new things? Simply we want to reduce the cost. Really? That's not that complex. Technology may replace the labor without advances. Good. Mm, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So the labor will be changing dramatically. And actually, that is changing. That is changing every day. What will happen if we got all the, all the, the if, if all the artificial intelligence replace us? human workforce. But however, it's now occurring. Agree or not? However, we are experiencing. We are experiencing that the AI quickly replaced the human workforce now all around the world. Any problem? Applying the AI and replacing the human workforce with the technology. Any problem in terms of the money? In terms of the in terms of the making capital? Any problem? Can you tell me any business problem? Yeah, no problem. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Yeah, actually, that is not my problem. And however, the, yeah, whatever. 
So maybe the sociologists or the politicians or the lawmakers or you know, the politicians or whatever, okay, you know, probably they need to address that kind of problem. Well, however, the, that's not my job. That's not my profession. My profession is business problem solving. And then be, as a business problem solver, I just want to create more revenue, um, the profit value. I am interested in the value creation. Whatever I can do, I will use. I will use, I will apply anything. If I can reduce the cost, if I can improve the revenue, I will do whatever I can do. However, we are concerning about the, is that sustainable? Is that sustainable using the industry 4.0 or the that kinds of technology, artificial intelligence and okay, is it sustainable? Uh, it's controversial. Because that if we replace the people, if, if we replace the human workforce with the artificial intelligence or the technology, uh huh. Probably we will lose our customers. We lose our customers, and then that means even though we produce a lot of things, but there is no customers who can buy my product. That may be a problem. That may be a problem. We need to consider. Okay, later. <laughs> we need to consider later. That is not my direct job unfortunately that is not my job i know i feel something but how about the, hmm, what can i do okay so whatever if i can reduce the cost i will use whatever i can to artificial intelligence robot process industry 4.0 or network 5g now what for this clearly understand please okay in the 4.0 data transformation purpose is clear we want to reduce the cost no more no less for what to make more money that's all okay good any other ways to reduce the cost oh yeah absolutely we can improve the product design product design design for the automation design to economies of the materials okay product design or the material change recyclable material mm, i hope to do that but if that is the cost much i cannot do that mm -hmm. Okay, and that there must be the reduce of the input cost, the input cost, the location advantage, the ownership of the low cost input, and bargaining power, and supplier corporation. Supplier corporation. Okay, why many electronic goddess are now producing the Shenzhen area? Why? Why Shenzhen? 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 Why Shenzhen? Why a lot of electronics are produced in the Shenzhen area, not in Wenzhou? Why Shenzhen? Can you tell me? More talent there. Really? They have a lot of uh, businesses, the business talent or the technology talent, or the, they, the Shenzhen has a lot of the universities and colleges and the best, yeah, best schools. What's the advantage of the Shenzhen? What's the advantage of the Shenzhen? What's the true advantage of the Shenzhen? Yeah, I would say what kinds of the locational advantage? What did yeah? Hmm. Okay. And then yeah, near to Hong Kong. Okay. That means near to market. That's one thing. That's one thing. And anything else? Mm. 
dear to market. Anything else? Why Shenzhen? Hmm? Okay, good. And we can define the Shenzhen as an innovation cluster. Innovation cluster, like Silicon Valley is an innovation cluster. And yeah, Shenzhen is one of the best example of the innovation cluster. And what else? Uh, what is the best innovation cluster? Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood is the innovation cluster for the entertainment business. Uh, nowadays, at the Beijing, Beijing is an innovation cluster for many things. And the Shanghai, that is an innovation cluster of the finance. Why a certain areas has those kind of the advantage? Many things, okay. However, the purpose of using or the purpose of the making or the purpose of the creating or the purpose of the emerging of a certain innovation cluster is related with reducing the input cost. Reduce the input cost near to market. Definitely, there must be a location advantage, and that that can reduce the delivery. That can reduce the, the logistics price, logistics cost. Okay, and then the people are coming together, and that means that the, we can achieve that the economy of scale. The bigger, the better. Okay, absolutely, people are coming together. People are gathering. That location attract more young talent. Okay, we can reduce the labor cost, and then we can have a lot of the bargaining powers. And then because that there must be a lot of the suppliers, suppliers compete each other. That can we can reduce the supply cost. So, you know, reduce the input cost, government or the market want to make an innovation cluster. Innovation cluster, that is the reason why we use, why we create a multiple innovation clusters in a nation. Okay, for what? You know, to reduce the cost. Absolutely. And there is another way of the reducing the cost of capacity utilization and the ratio to fixed to the variable cost. You learn about the the okay, overhead cost to the material cost, the direct labor, cost, direct cost, whatever. Okay, so that we want to fully utilize our capacity in order to reduce the cost. Okay, good. And do you know what's happening? Do you know what's happening on the oil price nowadays? Oil price. The petroleum, the crude oil price. What's going on on the gasoline price nowadays? Is it going up or is it going down? Hmm? Decrease a lot. Hmm, why? <laughs> that's business. That's bit. That's related to business. Okay, we are very sensitive to those kind of things. Why? Why the oil price is decreasing? According to the economist, there is a decreased demand. No demand. Okay, significantly decreased demand because we are now experiencing the coronavirus, and then nobody is going out, and then the many body many body stopped the traveling. Then. No need for petroleum. However, in order to in order to reduce the cost of something, in order to reduce the cost of the you know to reduce the operational cost of the uh, crude oil making or crude oil delivery or crude oil processing, okay, we cannot stop. We cannot stop the operation of those oil process. That is the reason why the oil price is going getting, getting down, getting down, getting down, because we cannot stop. 
producing. However, there the demand is decreasing. So then price must be decreasing. Not because not because of the economy something, but how about the, but because the business sense. This is the problem of the cost. Okay. Yeah, what if we yeah, okay, what if we can stop the oil pro, oil, oil producing? Okay, that's easy. That's easy to control the price. But however, though, we cannot stop producing oil. Really? Because that costs too much. That is not a problem of the economy. That is a problem of the operation management. Why? Capacity. <laughs> Ratio of the fixed cost or the cost of the install installing and the closing the capacity. If we close the oil, the crude, or if we close the oil well now, it's tons of thousand billion dollars. I'd better to take risk in order to save my oil well. It's okay. Someday they will get better, but not now. And somebody said, okay, so you just stop the oil producing. No, I would do. <laughs> because I think about it, the future price. Okay, good. That's that. And another the way of the reducing the cost is residual efficiency, organizational slag or something. Okay, that is uh, people. Okay. So then, yeah, there are 10 people. There are 10 people in a team. But how about the, yeah, doing your case and, you know, at, at, every moment? And the, your manager will ask about it. Okay, manager, your manager will ask about this question. Why do I need you? Okay, so that in that case, can you justify yourself? in a team or other in an organization? What will happen if you fail in justifying yourself? Manager will fire you. Every day we do. Every day we do. Why do I need you? Can you are you ready to justify your existence in a, in a certain organization? Uh, 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 that's not easy. That's not easy. So then, every moment we squeeze our workforce in order to reduce the labor cost. Okay, there are a lot of the bureaucracy. Do you do you learn about the bureaucracy? Bureaucracy. Okay, so bureaucratic organ within the organ of the bureaucratic. In a bureaucratic organization, what is the biggest problem of the bureaucracy organization? You know that? What is the biggest problem of the bureaucratic organization, hierarchical organization? Mm -hmm. Jesse. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest problem of the hierarchical organization, like a bureaucratic organization and government organization? Mainly, oh, Nick, Nicky, oh, Claire, 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 oh, Claire, oh, Claire comes. What is the biggest problem of the hierarchical organization or the bureaucratic organization? You learn that. What is the biggest problem of that? Low efficiency. Why? Why the hierarchical organization, why the, why the bureaucratic organization have a relatively low efficiency? Why large organizations like uh, the big big bank or the big corporations, big government, they are not efficiency. They are not efficient. Why? What is the meaning of the efficiency? Uh -huh. Generally, the hierarchical or the bureaucratic organization has a 
unnecessary unnecessary overhead unnecessary overhead overhead to the overhead overhead to over the overhead okay so worker okay and however you need the assistant manager's approval assistant manager's approval assistant manager's approval okay and uh, still okay so you must get an, another approval from the deputy manager okay and you must get another approval from the manager okay and the department department manager okay you must get a executive and the the, the ceos what the executive okay executive manager executives gives approval and executive in, uh, the, and the, you need to get a finer approval from the ceo okay how many hierarchies we have one two three four five six seven hierarchies seven hierarchy seven hierarchy we call that as organizing slacks. Organizing. What if there is a work worker and the CEO? Just one. Okay. Can we make it better? I think so. But yeah, what if we have an assistant manager, deputy manager, manager, and the department manager or executive? Hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary slacks, unnecessary overhead. We may deduce those kind of the hierarchy and the uh, bureaucracy throughout the reducing the residual efficiency so this is a main ways of how we can reduce the cost okay maybe you can keep this you can keep this in okay in an organization maybe almost every day you will be requested okay do you have do you have any idea do you have any idea to idea to reduce the cost or increase revenue you will get this kind of question almost every moment every day in a business world really <coughs> then you need a tool how i can reduce the cost how i can reduce the cost this will help you this will help you this will help you okay this is most practical and that's my that that's the framework that i bring i that i brought from the consulting industry so whenever we whenever we need the idea to reduce the cost we start with the what can we do how we can achieve the economy of scale how we can make it bigger and how we can reduce the economy of the learning and how we can exercise the process technology okay how we can improve the product design, okay, service design, or the business model, and how we can reduce the input cost and how we can utilize, maximize our utilization of the capacity and how we can reduce the organization of unnecessary workforce, unnecessary steps or process that come from here. So then we start with this. That's a, that gives us a fundamental framework in order to find out the idea to reduce the cost. Then there are tons of southern ways that will help you. That will really help you. Okay? Good.
Okay, good, good. Uh, can you hear me? Can you see me? Oh my. Oh, Kevin comes. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but however, the something is happening. So I abandoned the, my the Windows PC and I am using my MacBook. Always oh, MacBook is why. MacBook is better. Okay, good. And let's see. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I must take it again. Recording the message. Okay, so I'm sorry. Good. And so far, we learned about it, uh, how we can reduce the cost. And uh, that, that I just proposed a few number of the ways how we can think about it, reduce no cost. Economy of scale, economy of learning, process technology, product design, input cost, the capacity utilization, residual efficiency, and that uh, we can bring tons of thousand ways of the reduce no cost. Okay. Good. And in order to what? In order to what? In order to achieve the purpose of cost leadership. Cost leadership is my purpose to apply those kind of the activities, those kind of the purpose, those kind of the frameworks. And this is a, this, these are the a few number of the examples who are good at the reducing the cost. Uh, mainly comes, okay. So in industry, in a certain specific industry, steel, the steel making, new core in the US, and commodity chemicals, Dow Chemical, do you know that? And that was merged by the Dow Chemical, and that is merged by Bayer, something. And actually, I was a business consultant for the Dow Chemical in Germany, and the Dow Chemical is one of the largest oil breaker to, to produce that the large amount of the chemicals plastics okay they were good at uh, reducing the cost automotive and the hyundai kia mm -hmm. I, I i don't say that uh, this is the best car the best quality of car but they give us a lot of options to acceptable affordable options to drive a personal computer dell or asus or something Retailing Walmart or the Taobao. Why you are going to the Taobao? Why you are using the Taobao? Any reason? Taobao. Taobao. Why you are using the Taobao? Cheap. Mm -hmm. Cheaper the better. <laughs> exactly cheap. Okay. Cost leadership. Uh, is there anybody who tried to use the Amazon.cn or Jingdong, Jingdong versus Taobao? Okay, maybe that will be the yeah, well, that will be the best contrasting choice. Why somebody used the Jingdong? Oh, why somebody used the Taobao? And I know you are using both. Me too. JD is better for some electric goods. And the Taobao always give us a cheaper option. Cost leadership, cost leadership. Okay, Jingdong, the differentiated user experiences, we will talk next week. Okay, smartphone, Xiaomi. Mm -hmm. That's an example of how they could achieve those kind of things. This, okay, I, I share my idea. I share my idea that come from the Grant contemporary strategy analysis. Okay, think about that. Okay, so if we apply those kind of things, we must be able to get this competitive parity. Cost leadership comes from the competitive public competitive parity. I am competing my competitors in a specific market. And if I can reduce, if I can make my product or service cheaper than any others within a certain specific market, I will be a winner. I do not compete with everybody. I do compete within a certain specific market. Okay. And then I want to achieve the competitive penalty. I want to achieve any kinds of the cost reduction that give me a cheaper option. 
Okay, however, in order to do that, the competitive parity come from the similar value, the quality, okay, acceptable quality, acceptable quality, reasonable quality, but cheaper than any pen. Xiaomi, what if the Xiaomi does not work well? Do you want to buy? No, 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 Xiaomi acceptable. However, that is cheaper. That's the reason why the customers buy the Xiaomi. That's the cost leadership. So cost leadership starts with a good product that is acceptable in terms of the quality and the future. Acceptable quality, please. Acceptable future, acceptable. Not best, not best. Okay, and the cost leaders pay intense and uh, regular attention to their competitors cost. We always looking for the competitors cost and how we can get to know our competitors cost. Mm -hmm. We usually ask it to our customers and the customers will help us to get to know the competitors cost. And cost leaders draw their advantage from the many sources throughout the business and whether constantly manage areas that are critical to cost. Many, many sources, these are the sources of the cost reduction. Mm -hmm. You'd better start with that. And the cost leaders commit capital to the reduce the long run cost, sustainable competitive advantage. Okay, sustainable cost leaders build the low cost into the culture of their organization. Okay, so that is a organizational capability or organizational capital. Okay, absolutely. Uh, do you know that the why? Do, do you know why? The business consultant of why we do not use color in report or PPT. Mm -hmm. Do you know? And a few number of you know why we why we do not use the color in the report or PPT in business in business. Mm -hmm. Somebody must know that. Who to my business, uh, business statistics course? You learn that. Hmm? Iris? Hmm. Iris. Where are you? Eva, 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 Eva. Why we do not use the color in the slide or in the report or in the, in the PPT? Russell, uh, Russell, Danny, Jerry, hold on, hey, on, is Holy, holy, why we do not use a color in the port? Uh, hey, oh, can you hear me? Can you see me? Something's wrong. Uh. Oh, okay. Olivia, why we do not use a color printer? Ah, uh, color, yeah, color. Okay, because we don't want to use expensive color printer. We don't want to use an expensive color printer. We just use a cheaper black and white printer. That must be enough. That's the reason in business, we never use a color in our report or in, or in our PPT, especially for the yeah, concerting industry. Like this, we are sensitive to the cost. That is our culture. That is our culture. Okay, so in order to do that, in order to reduce the cost, we will do whatever we can do. Okay, we use a black and white printer. In order to do that, we never use the color, and we many times we use a 
the already used the, the second yeah second use the print a uh, second use the paper that's our culture you I wish you can follow our culture if not I will kill you <laughs> I will talk with you okay like this okay that is the way of the post leadership that's a way of the post leadership and then however the yeah more yeah more structured way more structured way okay and then we may think about it the, applying the value chain tools you learned about it value chain tools five four sister strategy tools and the balance scorecard tools okay so that by using the value chain tools by using the five four six tools uh, five four six tools and the balance scorecard maybe we can try to organize our cost reduction effort that is how we apply the cost leadership strategy in real world okay good and the cost leadership based on the multiple principles of the economy of scale blah blah blah, blah. okay so we can apply the value chain strategy five versus strategy balance scorecard strategy okay for example in the value chain uh, there is a primary activities key primary activities and the quality control to minimize the rework and the outsource logistics and then the, so the supportive functions the reduce the organ layers or the hierarchies and the integrate the identity process with the mis something like that and five forces increase the sales volume to increase that the buying power your global sourcing to decrease the supplier power and increase the productivity to avoid a new entrance and the market marketing or mass media to avoid a tough substitute and balance the scorecard and financially apply the new valuation system and the customers who networking with us throughout the social network services and internally combined system fix the signal activities and we can reduce any pain and the learning and the 40 hours per year the training for the for all the all the developed employees we want to improve our core competencies in order to reduce the cost okay that's how we achieve the competitive advantage of cost leadership okay and there is a case of the uh the cost leadership strategy but uh, okay unfortunately i don't have time so then that is all and then next week we will Talk about, we will talk about it, how we can achieve that the differentiated user experience of value, another competitive advantage. Okay, good. And that is it. That is it. What time is it? Okay, that is it. Oh, any question? I'm sorry for the technical problem. Any question? Well, so far, so good. Okay, and I will talk with the school about this technical, the technical problem. I'm sorry for the technical problem. Okay, and so far so good. Okay, okay, thank you. And then, can I see you next Monday? Okay. And however, there must be assignment for this, okay? So then I will, uh, I'm asking about it, the how we can achieve that the cost of leadership for the Tesla in China, okay? Maybe you can think of that kinds of things. At least I give you the value chain, by versus, or the balance scorecard, whatever. Think about it. What if you are hired as a, a what you are hired at the Tesla in Shanghai? What can you do? How you can reduce the cost of the Tesla production. That would be fun. That would be fun. Okay, good. Then, okay, I will see you next Monday. I will see you next Monday. Okay, so then, bye. Bye, Olivia. Bye, Kevin. Oh, oh Kevin, Kevin. Uh, Mm -hmm. Oh, Ken, Ken, bye. Iris, bye. Where are you? Jerry, bye. Mm -hmm. Opa?
I'm able, I'm able, I'm able, I'm able by Claire. A loving, loving boy. Claire. Oh my. 